Today we're going to be making some really, really yummy Nutella filled milk chocolates. You're going to need some Nutella, your favorite chocolate mold, and some beautiful milk chocolate. So let's get on with the video. I have a piping bag here ready to go. I'm going to fill it with some Nutella and I'll be back in a second. So I'll just get this beautiful Nutella into my piping bag. And this is just going to make it super, super simple to get the filling into our beautiful milk chocolate cavities. So I'll get some of that in here. I'd say that's enough. That looks good. And then I'm just going to get my little thing here ready to go. So just before we start, I just wanted to show you this little chocolate mold. Very inexpensive. It cost me about $2 online. And so what are we going to do? I'm going to get this on screen here. And I'm just going to start applying a little bit of chocolate to each one of the cavities. We're going to be piping in our beautiful Nutella. So you don't want to overfill these because we're going to need to put more milk chocolate onto the top. So I just want to get a little bit like that. And then take your spoon and just move that chocolate around a little bit just to see how much is in each one to make sure you haven't overfilled it. These are not even halfway filled. Okay, that looks good, like that. So now I'm ready to go with my piping bag. I have a very small tip on here, and this is going to make this super easy to fill all the cavities. So I'm going to get right down, right into the middle, give a little bit of squeeze, perfect. Go down and give a little bit of a squeeze. Now what's happening here, you can actually see the Nutella is displacing that chocolate. The Nutella is actually thicker than the milk chocolate, so what it's doing, it's keeping its shape and it's kind of staying away from the chocolate so that you can see that it's not mixing together. So as I push the piping bag, it's pushing that chocolate down and up around the sides, and that's exactly what we want. Now if you're doing this just with spoons, it's going to be a little bit harder, but you could use two tiny spoons and you will be able to, to accomplish the same thing. So I'm going to go down, give it a little push. You can see the chocolate going up. And I, I hear you right now, you're saying zoom in, I can't see anything. Okay, so let me zoom in and then we'll do the rest of them. Okay, I've zoomed in just so I could show you this first row. So I'll start over here. So get your piping tip right in here. And don't worry if it touches the chocolate and just give it a good squeeze. And you'll see that chocolate starting to go up on the side. Just like that. Give a little squeeze. And you can see how easy it is with the piping bag. Perfect. And you could do the same thing with caramel, as you've seen me do it in another one of my recipes. You can also do this with peanut butter. And that's perfect. And there we have it. So let me just zoom out a little bit. And then I'm just going to grab my mold and just tap it. So this is going to make the surface nice, but it's also going to have the air bubbles leave the actual chocolate. So any air bubbles that are in there, they will want to come to the top, they'll surface to the top. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to pop these into the fridge for about five minutes. I just want to chill these down a little bit before we add our last layer of milk chocolate. So I just brought these out of the fridge. They were in there about five minutes. And you can see that the chocolate is actually set up and we're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the little footing or the bottom part of the chocolate right on there like that. So a little bit on each one. We just want to cover up anything that's left of that Nutella. 
We want to get that right on there. And if you wish, you can use a piping bag and pipe on the chocolate like we used the piping bag to put the actual Nutella filling into our chocolates. But this is fine. This is fun. Very relaxing. So just take your time. Get a little bit on there. Okay, that looks good. And then, again, just tap, tap, tap. You can see that everything's spreading out really nicely. Okay, that looks good. And now what I'm gonna do differently, I'm gonna pop these into my freezer because these need to be really, really chilled. When we flip it over and we tap it, if they're really, really cold, they'll all pop out without a problem. So I'm gonna pop these into my freezer for probably about 10 minutes. Okay, so my chocolates have just come out of the freezer. I'm gonna turn them over and hopefully they're all gonna start popping out. So just a gentle tap. If you find that some of them refuse to come out, you just put this back into the freezer again and they will come out. And there we go. So I'll just pull all of these to the center here so you can see them. I'll get a cutting board and let me zoom in. Okay, so let's cut into this and see how nice it is inside. I'll flip it around so you can see. Let's zoom in. So here we are a lot closer up. So we have the bottom layer of chocolate. That was our last addition of chocolate. And then we have the actual shell, which goes all the way around. And we have our beautiful Nutella in the middle. So a really, really nice chocolate. Super easy to make. You saw me make them. I hope you try it at your house. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. So that's it for today, and I'll 